other people have had enough. So with this document, this lawful document, it will be served to Amanda Foley. Could you please get Amanda Foley downstairs, please? That she's a criminal, and if she doesn't respond in seven days, I'm going to come back with the police and arrest her. Oh, so Amanda's not, Amanda Foley's not going to come down. Seven days, she's got to respond. All right, now we've got a receipt. Got a receipt. Got a receipt. I ended my first episode about modern-day Jester with a thrilling, exhilarating cliffhanger of an ending. We saw Steen Motley hand over a dossier of damning allegations against Amanda Foley, the CEO of St Albans Council. He gave the City Council an ultimatum. He'd return in seven days, and if Amanda Foley had not responded, then he would return with armed police officers who would arrest her charge her, convict her of a crime, and then eventually imprison her. So I'm sure you're all wondering, is Amanda Foley, CEO of St Albans Council, serving the beginning of a prison sentence right now? Has she been banged up for crimes against humanity? Please grab some popcorn, affix yourself to a suitably comfortable seat, pin your eyes onto this screen, and get ready for the wildest of wild rides. Hi, this is Modern Day Jester slash Steen Anthony Motley. I served some legal documents on Amanda Foley, the CEO of St Albans City Council. And she has not responded. I gave her seven days to respond. She has chosen not to. Well, I'm sure you're as surprised as I am. Amanda Foley, the CEO of St Albans Council, completely ignored Steen Motley's carefully prepared and well-researched dossier of accusations. It's almost as if she didn't care. She's treating him like some kind of idiot from the street who just barged into her reception playing loud, obnoxious music. And she's completely ignoring him. It doesn't make any sense. But Steen, do you have a theory as to why she might be ignoring you? Apparently that is also from a whistleblower. It actually got intercepted by an MI5 agent. So yeah, let's see what's going on with that. It's a completely plausible theory, isn't it? That secret government agents intercepted the portfolio of information that Steen handed over to Amanda Foley and carted it away for nefarious reasons never stated and known only to themselves. So what is Steen going to do? That's what we will want to know. How is he going to shut down whatever evil he believes is taking place in that dank, dark, devilish building, the St Albans Council Civic Centre? I'm filming for my own protection. I'm being filmed in here, so yeah. So anyways, um, here we are at reception. This is St Albans City Council. Thank heavens, Steen Motley has come with his own cell phone camera for protection, because you never can be too careful in a dangerous place like the reception of the St Albans City Council Civic Centre. Uh, ten days ago I served a legal document to Amanda Foley. I gave her seven days to respond. She chose not to respond. She's not above the law, just like the police are not above the law. Apparently she got it received, because I've got a receipt here saying she got it received, but actually she hasn't received it in person. I have got no, no response from her whatsoever. Apparently That's unbelievable, isn't it? She is treating modern day Jester like he's some kind of idiot. <laughs> like like a, just a random person who walks in on the street and hands over a, a, a dossier of preposterously badly researched, incorrectly printed, badly spelt uh, and just completely irrelevant information. <laughs> wow. Just imagine the cheek of it. That Amanda Foley, she's going to pay. And if she has received it, she's under arrest. And if she hasn't received it, she needs to get in contact with me emerge in immediately. And she's under arrest for misconduct in public office. I have the papers, I have the law. I'm not joking, I've had enough. Isn't that amazing news? Amanda Foley may already be under arrest. She's probably unaware of the fact she might be busy having a hairdo or, or getting a pedicure or perhaps attending to the thousand important business things that a CEO of a medium-sized British city might need to do. But she is under arrest and Steen Motley isn't going to stop there because he is laying down the law in the way that only a member of Save Us Now, the preposterous organisation founded by Mark and Graham Steele, well only they could lay down the law this efficiently, this brutally, 
putting an end to corruption wherever Steen Motley sees it. And he sees corruption everywhere. Hello. Um, so you asked if Amanda Foley had received this, and I can confirm that yes, she has. She's received it? Yep. So why hasn't she responded back to me? I can't answer that. Okay, well, well under 1984, section 24A, Amanda Foley is now under arrest, under misconduct. No, 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 but no, no, no. Oh, Steen, I know what it's like to have the object of your fascination completely blank you out. It's a common occurrence on online dating apps. I'm sure Steen would be exactly the same if somebody that he found attractive just stopped talking to him and he would demand her attention. Why isn't she replying, he'd ask. And the answer would be the same. It's because, Steen, what you say and what you do is completely mad. And really, when you're faced with such madness, the only sensible thing you can do is blank that person out. Pretend they're not there, which is probably what Amanda Foley is doing right now, in between all the other thousand important things she will have to attend to as the CEO of a city council. This guy, this guy's smirking, yeah? Under 1984, section 24, I can film, you're filming me. No, 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 Amanda Foley, under 1984, Excuse section 24A, is under arrest. Is under arrest for misconduct in public office. If she was I think he's doing a very good job of holding back a smirk. Had I been there, I, I think I, I would be grinning or guffawing, laughing like a maniac to see Steen Motley's unhinged manic antics. But he's going to be laughing on the other side of his face because in a few days' time, Steen Motley is definitely coming back to arrest Amanda Foley. She has not responded, so I will be coming back to arrest her. I've got the power under 1984 section 24A to arrest on-site criminal activity. This is where I think it's not about justice, more some kind of creepy sex fantasy. Because if Steen actually managed to arrest Amanda Foley, the CEO, what would he do with her? He couldn't take her to a police station. They, they wouldn't do anything, obviously. Would he have to take her back to his flat? Ugh. Steen, you never think these things through. You, you, you just act. So now she's under arrest, okay? And I'll be back. I'll be coming back to arrest her. All right? Anyways, peace out. Peace out, modern day jester. <sighs> Hasn't today been the wildest, the most edge of your seat kind of wild ride into the crazy, zany world of modern day jester? We've learnt how the jester has simultaneously arrested Amanda Foley, but will also arrest her in the future, which seems like some kind of Doctor Who time paradox to me. But given that this is modern day jester we're dealing with, literally anything is possible. I I'm so excited to find out what he will do next because I'm sure it's going to be as exciting and bewildering as what we've just seen. And you, dear listeners, will find out what Steen Motley's next move is in seven days' time. <laughs>